You might have heard of or used a mixture of expert models such as mixed role, but have you heard of the mixture of agents? If you've been hanging around this channel, you've seen me talking about AI agents and agentic workflow a lot. The mixture of agents or MOA method is an update to this series that explores how multiple AI agents work together and how to set up repeatable agentic workflows for more complex tasks. This framework took inspiration from the mixture of experts method in machine learning. Originally discussed in the paper, Mixture of Agents Enhances Large Language Model Capabilities, the authors propose a layered MOA architecture wherein each layer comprises multiple LLM agents. Each agent takes the outputs from agents in the previous layer as auxiliary information in generating its response. They notice that current LLMs are restricted to their model sizes and training data, and that scaling them is super costly and computationally intensive. As I explained in my previous videos, the direction that many AI companies have taken to produce a single all-purpose model with all types of capabilities to replace the multitude of available models with unique features will soon reach a bottleneck. Instead, we can harness the collective expertise of multiple LLMs to create a more capable and robust system, whereby diverse models with particular strengths and unique data for special use cases benefit each other's responses for more complex and demanding tasks. As this architecture demonstrates, multiple agents depicted as A receive the initial prompt and generate responses independently as shown with different colors. Each response is then passed forward to the corresponding agent in the next layer for further refinement. The second layer may or may not use the same model when refining the responses. This iterative refinement process continues for several cycles until obtaining a more robust and accurate response. The most interesting part of this layered approach is the automatic selection of models for the next layer based on their performances, for example, the average win rates in the previous layer. The model selection also takes into account model diversity. They notice that the responses generated by a diverse pool of models contribute significantly more than outputs produced by the same model. These two criteria, model performance and diversity, are used as the basis of collaborative synthesis that can compensate for the deficiencies of a single model and improve the overall quality of responses. Something that just struck me is that we all tend to do this in our daily and work lives. Compare a single person company that does all the chores and has to spend a lot of time learning virtually every skill and a company that hires multiple top talents for multiple specialized positions where they collaborate on a task sharing their feedback and understanding. This directly takes me to the collaborative aspect of this mixture of agents framework, which is composed of proposers and aggregators. Proposers are the agents that generate useful reference responses to be used in the next layers as insight or direction for the final output or model responses. Aggregators are agents with specialized proficiencies that receive the context and perspective from the proposal agents and synthesize the information into high quality final responses. An MOA system can effectively have multiple proposers and multiple aggregators depending on the task complexity and the choice of model. An exciting feature of this framework is that it doesn't require any technical knowledge, for example, for fine-tuning. All specifications happen with natural language in the prompt. The authors then evaluated a three-layer architecture with six open-source models, including Lama3 and Mixrol, and the Quen 1.5 chat as the aggregator in the last layer, and compared it against the single LLM GPT-4. The evaluation was done based on three benchmarks, Alpaca Eval 2.0, which is an automatic evaluator of large language models with a very high correlation with human performance, Empty Bench, which is a series of open-ended questions that evaluate a chatbot's multi-turn conversational and instruction-following ability, and the third benchmark, Flask or fine-grained language model evaluation based on alignment skill sets, which produces fine-grained scores for both human-based and model-based evaluation. They found that the responses produced with this mixture of agents framework outperform single LLMs such as GPT-4O responses on the Alpaca benchmark as you see. 
The MOA method also outperforms GPT-40 on the Flask benchmark in other areas such as completeness, metacognition, and factuality. Now the exciting part, running the MOA code locally and solving a problem with it. This project requires an API key from Together AI, which we can get for free from their website. Now in the terminal, we first export our API key as an environment variable using echo export and inserting Together API key. I'm using batch profile. You can also use ZSHRC for interactive shells with the same syntax. Now we update the shell with the new variable and confirm it by typing echo with our variable name. Next, we make our project folder where we git clone the MOA's GitHub repository as you see. Once that's done, we make our virtual environment and activate it from its bin source. While it's active, we install package dependencies by pip installing the requirements.txt file from inside the cloned MOA directory. One more thing is left and that's running the Python file called bot.py in the MOA directory. But before that, here's a quick look at its Python code. I will leave its link in the description box so you can check out its details if you like. But here are the three main components. The first includes these default reference models, which will be used as our agents in the layers. We can change this at the prompt as you will see in a second. We also have a process functionality that handles each turn of the conversation at the prompt with default temperature and token count that you can also change at the prompt, as well as the list of reference models, the aggregator model, and the input or prompt. Then there is the main function for handling the entire multi-term flow at the prompt with similar arguments as before. The rest are various setups and error handling for the console for text-based interaction at the prompt. So let's run the file. The first things you see are the welcome message and the description of the process and the language models that are set by default to QN2, QN1.5, mixed role, and EBRX from Databricks. It will ask you to pick your aggregator model. Here I left it as QN2. It also asks for the temperature. I lowered this to 0.3 to produce more factual responses as I'm planning to give it a reasoning problem. 512 default tokens were enough, so I left it as it was. Finally, for the prompt or question, I gave it a famous multi-step mathematical reasoning problem from the GSM 8K benchmark that is also used in the Hugging Face leaderboard for their LLM evaluation. I will leave the link to the video about all these leaderboard tests too. The reason I chose this problem is that I have tested many models with it and apart from Orca 2, none of the models could answer it correctly while it's an easy problem for humans. So let's see if the MOA layered agentic system can do it. Apart from these rate limit errors that prompt you to upgrade to the paid plan that you can ignore, the system successfully ran and to my satisfaction, it also gave the correct answer to the problem with clear logical steps as you can see. Feel free to pause the video and read its two-step response, which is way more concise than the Orca 2 response I got before. I'm so pleased with how easy it is to run this system and how fast and accurate the responses are. If you would like to see more videos with this mixture of agents system with different models as the proposers and aggregators, definitely let me know in the comments. But if you are curious how this is different from Crew Air agentic workflow I made before, check out this video.